Hello there and welcome to I am feeling pain emotionally, physically and spiritually. Believe me, after watching these videos, all pain that you have ever felt will look like nothing. My mum died in a car crash and my dad left me to decompose. I was pushed into a cactus and I couldn't feel my limbs. I spent five weeks building a mansion in Minecraft and my brother deleted the hecking world. So what? You probably haven't been through the pain of, of watching or even looking at FNAF Gacha Life videos on YouTube. Now, in 2014, everyone said that FNAF was the scariest thing they had ever seen in their lives. But, uh, <laughs> it's now 2021 and uh, my dear viewers, prepare to watch the scariest thing that has come out of this community. Now, if you don't know what FNAF Gacha Life videos are, essentially there is this game called Gacha Life. Uh, where you can create your own characters and then from that you can create your own scenes and create your own movies. And a lot of people do this on YouTube um, and a lot of people watch this content, uh, namely kids. Imagine being able to make a movie, um, like a, a comic book or a fan fiction, but you don't have to do any of the work. Some people in the FNAF community make these videos, um, which would be alright, but oh my god, is it cringy. And also, it's kind of dangerous to children. I genuinely think it's literally just better to show you what I mean. Um, so, <laughs> get ready to see the most painful 10 minutes of your life. We're going to start with a recent video by Flo0524, who at the time of recording has 172,000 subscribers. And the video is... <laughs> The, the video is called Nightmare is a Baby for 24 Hours. Just by the title, you can already predict the type of video, the type of content we're going to be seeing here. Uh, and you can tell how this might already be appealing to kids. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright. I am hype. I do want to just say that I've looked at quite a few of these videos from many different people and they all seem to have this really, this this upbeat Premiere Pro template intro um, that they found on YouTube um, and, and, then, and then they thought like, oh yeah, this, this, this is a bit of me, this is a bit of me, you know? Um, the thing is, they don't even need this intro, like, if I want to know your name, I can just scroll down a little bit and your channel name is there. So they don't really need the intro, I don't really understand why people do that. Um, it's kind of just overcomplicated, um, unnecessary. Um, I'm glad I don't have epilepsy. Are you confused yet? <laughs> it's been about five seconds and I have zero idea what is going on. Let me explain it to you. Firstly, we have this nice royalty-free music in the background, which actually goes on for the entire video. There's no voice acting or anything. I could, I could tell it was royalty-free because it was actually music I used in a video from about two years ago. <laughs> um, don't sue me, YouTube. So here we have the, uh, the crying child, you know, the one from FNAF, the one with the headphones and the halo and the wings. The thing about this game is there's a limited number of hairstyles. Um, there's a limited number of accessories, there's a limited number of clothing, and so, in a way, every video looks identical. <laughs> now, I don't know why FNAF is a popular theme in Gacha Life videos, because most of the characters in the franchise are animals, uh, robots, or animal robots. <laughs> None of which can be created in this game, let me remind you. I mean, you can get, like, little fox ears and bear ears and little different accessories, but you can't make animals in this game. You, you can't. So I don't know why FNAF is a very good topic to make videos on in the Gacha Life community, but hey, it's happened anyway. He's so childish, says the child. <laughs> yeah, the thing about these videos is obviously children watch them. The storyline can be somewhat complex, but most of the time it's very simple. Um, it doesn't make much sense, usually, to be honest. Um, I'm actually kind of curious on what the actual demographic of this is. I am assuming it is for children, but my thoughts are right now that a lot of these videos are difficult to understand for children, and maybe they just like the visuals. I don't know. Or maybe they just like the crossover 
between f different FNAF characters and, and seeing... Th but FNAF isn't even for children. Like, I don't understand how all of this has happened. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really, I don't know who would watch this in the first place, <laughs> you know? Um, the other thing I want to know is the age of the person who created this. Are they are they 10 years old? Are they 23? I actually genuinely don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. So, Nightmare, well, he, he shrinks um, for no explained reason. He just shrinks. Uh, he becomes a baby for 24 hours. Uh, <laughs> it's the 24-hour challenge where, uh, where me and some folks... Uh, we become a baby for 24 hours. We're going to be sipping on juice boxes, chilling in the refrigerator, and peeing in the garden. <laughs> what is that? Halonizations. Hel 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 Halonizations. I think they meant hallucinations, but obviously... Uh, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> and either they saw it and couldn't be bothered to make the scene again, or they just didn't know how to spell. Um, maybe it is a ten-year-old after all. <laughs> I, find, I just find it so funny how they spell it, I can't stop looking at it. Like, it, it, the N doesn't come before the C, it's not hallucinations, it's hallucinations. It, <laughs> it's hilarious. Here we go! This is the juicy part of the video. As you know, FNAF uh, lore is still trying to be solved to this day. Uh, and obviously, when there's grey areas, movies are going to have to try and improvise and fill in those gaps of knowledge. And what they do here is they rename the crying child Chris. There's no evidence for Chris being called Chris in the game. Like, there is absolutely no evidence at all. Uh, Chris has just come out of nowhere. Um, Chris has come out of the Gatsu Life community, which would be completely fine. It would be, I like. I would be completely fine with people using a, a name so that they could use a name in their videos. However, it gets to the point where people are in my theory videos and a lot of other people's theory videos, and they have comments such as, "You idiot! The crying child's name is Chris," and I'm like. No, 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 you can't, you can't take a fan name and make it the name of the crying child. It's, it's genuinely, it's so terrible. Um, they, they see the name Chris Afton and they believe it. Um, I, I think that's, that's a reason why a lot of the theorist community these days is toxic because of the FNAF Gacha Life community. Um, there are people who, who bring conclusions um, with without evidence, and it's a thousand times worse w than uh, bringing evidence without making conclusions. You know, um, it it is sickening to me whenever I make whenever I make a video about the crying child, and and people say the name's Chris, idiot. Um, so gacha life YouTubers, I will come to you, and I will kill you. Why can't they just be like, I'm Baby Nightmare? <laughs> Why? It worked for Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is a sensation, okay? And he is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Not this weird nightmare bear human concoction wearing a red hoodie and denim shorts. <laughs> are you scared yet? I, are you scared? I am. I'm very scared. What is this video, man? I have no idea what is going on. This is the type of writing that I feel Shakespeare could never have written, but an illiterate fish would. <laughs> an illiterate fish, yes. I, I get those kind of vibes, you know. Um, hey, maybe this was made by a 10-year-old illiterate fish Shakespearean. Uh, I do want to point out, it feels like we are 20 minutes into this video. Um, we have watched two minutes. That's right, 120 seconds. Two minutes.
That's what I say to my girl before we do something <laughs> specific. Oh, hey, Jerry. I was just wondering what you were up to tonight. Oh, hi, Penny. I, I, I was just, I wasn't going to do much this evening. Uh, maybe watch a film, some gacha life videos, uh, sleep with your sister. How would you like to come over tonight? I, I, I just said, uh, why? Oh, I don't know. We could, we could do some stuff. What could we, what could we do? Oh, I don't know. Something, something, some, something, uh, something, something specific? Marry me. This got kind of dark real fast. Oh, I, I get it. Hide and seek is for babies, which is what I am. So we definitely shouldn't play hide and seek because, you know, none of us want to play hide and seek because it's for babies and we are definitely not babies. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. And then, and then I love how his response to all of that is, hey, I would never harm my little bean. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, you can see how none of this makes sense. And you can see that the people watching this are children. And I'm just a little confused how they keep up with this content because it's so boring and uneventful and it's equivalent to reading a picture book. Like, it's literally the same scene with the same characters, but different words. So to sum up the other eight minutes of this video, Golden Freddy or Fred Bear or whoever he is, um, he gets depressed because everyone hates him. Uh, Nightmare or Ethan bumps into, what, Ennard or Foxy, and they help him hide. But it gets kind of weird because one of them mentions how Chris is probably Nightmare's boyfriend. And then later Nightmare says, I love you, just out of nowhere. <laughs> The thing that annoys me is how Chris keeps calling Nightmare my bean. Uh, it's, it's just so unnecessary. Uh, this random girl who I assume is Elizabeth, but I'm not too sure, then kisses him and takes him to the clothing store. <laughs> I personally love the line, I, clothes, why? <laughs> because it's what I always used to say when, uh, when I got clothes for Christmas. You know, this illiterate fish may be 10 years old, but it sounds to me like he is so relatable. Oh yeah, then it's confirmed that uh, Ethan and Chris are obviously in a relationship. Uh, they kiss under the moonlight, then Nightmare becomes an adult again and probably gets arrested. Happily ever after. So after watching that monstrosity, you can see just how non-FNAF it is, like the plot of a really, really bad children's show. Uh, all the characters were dressed unnecessarily like FNAF characters, you know? Uh, it's, it's like no FNAF content, but it's just weird FNAF characters that aren't really that custom because there aren't that many clothes that you can pick from in the game. It's definitely a weird type of video and I seriously don't understand why it's a big hit in the community in the first place, but honestly, these videos actually take a lot of time and effort to make uh, and I'm being completely serious when I say that. Watch this video back and count how many different frames you can see. Um, I genuinely think that this would take days to make, genuinely. Uh, they could have put some effort into the voice acting <laughs> uh, and not had copy, uh, non-copyright music in the background, but, you know, it's, it's, it's somewhat genius. Anyone can literally make up a story, put it in, in a Gacha Life video with FNAF characters, uh, and it would get thousands of hits. Um, you know, these videos are annoying as hell, though. <laughs> They're exploitive as heck, and I still don't know who would watch this, um, at least on purpose. Um, it, it doesn't even end there, though. It doesn't end there. This content all appeals to children, which by itself is actually an issue. Uh, I don't know if you remember back in 2019 with the whole um, copper drama, Google was sued for $170 million because of their violations of copper. Uh, copper is the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and uh, it does what it says on the tin. It essentially protects children online because, as we know, YouTube can be a very harmful place to young people. Now, you may have seen when you upload a video to YouTube now, you have to state whether or not it's for children. Essentially, people under the age of 13 should not be using YouTube. Um, end of story. However, we live in a society where people make YouTube videos that exploit the algorithm, direct it to children, and keep them watching. And this leads us back to Gacha Life. I've said multiple times in this video that this content is being watched by children, which is a pretty big issue by itself. However, this gets 10 times worse 
when the creators of these videos make the videos that look like they're for children, not for children. I actually didn't know about this until it was brought to my attention by Icebreaker27 in my comments and my good friend IRL, um, who have both witnessed their young sisters uh, watching these types of videos on YouTube with themes of self-harming, suicide, murder, domestic abuse and sexual harassment. This is one gigantic flaw of the nature of YouTube. Any child can make an account. They can click on one video of a child unboxing a toy and then half an hour later find themselves watching pornography. I said before that FNAF used to be the scariest thing on the internet. But if we're being hit realistic here, scary is it? that children, young children, can be set free on the internet and be corrupted because of one YouTube video that appears as a children's video but isn't actually one. How scary is it that anyone can make pornography, a video of them cutting themselves or harming somebody else and upload it to YouTube with a fun thumbnail and a clickbaity title? How scary is it that there is nothing we can do about it? Nothing. If you have a child, monitor them on the internet. And if that's not an option, don't let them on the internet in the first place. Videos like this are cursing children's minds, and it's not okay. Believe it or not, FNAF Gacha Life videos are ones that do exactly this, and it really disappoints me. It, it makes me angry, I don't know if you can tell. It, it makes me feel sick. Just to show you one example of this, uh, this video called Dares by Gold Trap has one million views. Think about that. Up to one million people have seen this video. How many do you think are children? In this video, the creator took people's comments of dares that the characters should do, and most of them are, have this character kiss this character, and so on. It's so messed up. It's so messed up. And you're probably thinking, well, this isn't really the video game's fault. It's the content creators exploiting the program, creating things that their viewers want. Uh, and in this case, what the viewers want is to see some images of their favourite Five Nights at Freddy's characters making out. Once again, this is only an example, and it gets much worse than that on some other videos. Anyway, the thing about this whole thing is that, yes, you may be right that... People exploit the game to make videos. It's just like if I built a penis in Minecraft, you know? That's not Minecraft's fault, that's me exploiting the game and creating dirty jokes out of nowhere. But, in this case, Gacha Life is actually pretty bad. There's been a lot of parents on forums saying that this game is not for children for multiple reasons. Uh, most of the reasons are from the YouTube videos, but a lot of them are actually from Gacha Life, the game itself. Uh, I'm going to finish off with a fun fact for you. Um, the game actually used to have a 9-11 joke in it. I'm being serious. <laughs> I, ju I just got the chills. Um, it's disgusting. Uh, this isn't even the worst thing that is going on in this game. So guys, if you want me to make another video like this, um, or do another part to this, um, then please do tell me. Uh, you can give me other topics to do, uh, as well as Gacha Life. Uh, I really enjoy making this video, and I, and I really want to do more. So um, just give me a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe. If you haven't, you can always unsubscribe at any time. I'm hoping to get to the big 10k very soon. I really hope you can help me, uh, and hopefully I'll see you there. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye!